Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We're going to take a look at the Archeria Revplate 140 Reverberation Unit. This is currently free at the time of this video, so you can head over to their website and get it free before they stop that. I can't even remember what price it is when uh, it's not free again. I think it's up till the 25th of December, so go and grab your copy if you can. If you're watching it after, I'm sorry you have missed it. So we've got a setting here, uh, which is the default patch. And I'm just going to walk you through the features very quickly. We'll have a look at some presets, and then we'll have a look at building our own model. So we have a drive unit, and you can hear that is adding on this channel. Uh, if we solo it, we have a drive unit, and you can see this indicated by the tube. And this is determined by the model to how that is going to react. So model one is a more drier and kind of percussive aimed model. The second one is the emulation, which is modeled off the EMT 140 reverb, the classic reverb. And then the final one is a brighter and just more enhanced uh, model. So you've got three options there, a brighter, a classic, and essentially a duller one, which is for the percussion more suited. Then we have the decay time here, and we can increase the decay time by clicking these buttons or decrease at the same time. You're not hearing any results because the blend mode is not up. So that's your dry and wet, and then you have your width, mono, stereo. And then down below when we click this, we have pre-delay options. So let's just turn this on. We have a high pass filter. We have modulation. And we have a post EQ. To shape our reverb. Okay, so that is all the default there. There's nothing actually happening. You do have your power button here as well for bypassing. So I am using a demonstration from a previous video using the Rapid uh, Synth VST. If you haven't seen that, that is on screen now. And all I've done is disabled the reverb in both the uh, layers here that you can see. And we're going to build some reverb units, uh, presets here. So let's have a look at the presets first. So we have an EMT, which is the obviously the classic. And you can see it switches it to Model 2. Quite a short decay time. Let's have a listen. Got a bit of post EQ going on there. Let's increase the drive. So I can add some extra harmonics there. We can increase this decay time. Suit our track. And it's worth noting that the drive is actually applied to both the dry and the wet. So if you bring this down, you're still going to affect the signal with the drive. So always keep that in mind, you're not actually reverting back to mixing the original signal in. You're still affecting the main signal, dry or wet. Let's look at the 80s plate. So again, quite short, it's on the EMT model, no drive, no modulation, just a bit of EQ there. Let's pick a few more and then we'll start building our own. So let's build large plate. Okay, so there's nothing happening on this section down here. We've just got a quite a, a heavy blend up to the wet signal, and we've got this set to max on the decay time. So we can control that a little bit. That could be quite a good preset to use there. I like the sound of that one. And uh, let's pick one more. Let's pick Bright Tunnel. So this is using Model 3, which is the Enhanced Brightness uh, model. It's using some pre-modulation uh, there. And a bit of pre-delay on there as well. Nothing else much happening there. Okay. So let's see how we can use this. Uh, if we can go to delete current, oh, we can't delete it. Uh, how do we revert this? 
Okay, um, can we click here? Ooh. So yeah, we have some more type, standard experimental sound effects. Didn't see this before, so we have quite a few here, so like carton, experimental. Thin. So you can create a lot of uh, different styles of uh, reverb here. Sounds really nice. Okay, so uh, we do have an import feature as well and an export. So that's uh, that's cool that you can save and share presets. We've got a nice GUI here as well, so let's make that a bit bigger. See, this I've literally just got this and I've explored the features but not uh, fully explored the plugin. So we have all these here. We've got some tutorials which happened, the welcome tutorial. And new preset, etc, etc. So let's click new preset. There we are. And let's apply some reverb to this in the same way that it was modelled from how I built it in the uh, the synth itself, which was quite long, long decay times, and lacking a little bit of the bass. So we can use the EQ there and the blend. So I'm going to use the brighter model to start with on this one. So let's play it. And I'm going to increase the decay time. I'm going to keep the width up to full. I want full width. Okay. And I'm going to remove some of this. Just a little bit of a boost up there. And then I'm just going to bring the blend down a bit. Maybe just give it a tad more really uh, decay time. Okay, let's have a listen to that in context. Uh, let's put it in where everything's in kind of in full swing. And move out. So it definitely gives the track some character. It sets the scene for that uh, particular preset. And the decay time is probably perfect right there. It's still going straight into the the next part of the sound, so it's uh, adding a nice selection of harmonics into the sound as well. So that is use on there. So let's have a look on some percussion. Okay, we'll use it on this. And at the moment we're using the Tal Reverb. So I'll just bring that over here. As you can see, Tal Reverb. And we're just going to place it after, it doesn't matter where this is sat. So we'll call this Rev Plate 140. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn the dry down, so we've got this, the dry signal. Let's give it a bit more uh, oomph using the drive. I'm going to use the uh, Model 1, which is the more percussive choice. Okay, sounding good. And let's just increase the decay time a tad. Probably get away with another one. I'm gonna bring the width down as well. With it being percussion, I don't want too much width on that section. Okay, so I'm going to have that just about there. I'm going to remove some of the lower frequencies. There we are. Okay, let's increase that decay time again.
So just a little over 50% is sounding good. And that is on the percussion. So let's have a listen to that in context. So you don't realize how dry the sound is until you've taken the reverb off and then you really do hear the effects that you're having on it because your ears get accustomed to designing the sound. That, that's quite nice. I don't think I'd change anything about it. The Model 1 does sound quite nice. Let's have a listen to the other models and see if they make much more of a difference. Oh yeah, definitely a difference there. The decay time is a little bit more influential on there as well as the punchy one. Yeah, definitely more influence on the decay time. And let's listen to the brighter one. So you can hear the enhancement there and the decay time being more obvious and obviously we wouldn't need to increase this gain down on the equalizer to obviously gain some higher detail back in. So the punchy model sounds really good for the, uh, the percussion so I really agree with that. If we introduce the rest of the sounds. Obviously we wouldn't have the kick going through there. But just out of interest, let's have a look at the kick drum. That's the wrong shortcut. Let's have a look with just a kick drum in mind. That'd be really good. Adds a little bit of character to the kick drum. listen to how dry that kick becomes you can really hear that it's literally it's got no character it's just there pacing the track I'm starting to like this a lot. Uh, this is a really nice uh, reverb sound, especially from all my kind of analog work that uh, ties in nicely with the rapid uh, organic sound. So that is a demonstration on a, uh, let's call that a lead preset. Sounds really nice. And we've got some percussion in there as well. Let's try it on the breath noise down here as the final uh, look into what it's capable of. So you can hear I've already got some reverb on there. Again, tell reverb. So let's have another instance of the plate 140. We'll pick a preset and we'll adjust it. So bright hall might work quite well. Uh, let's yeah, let's just try bright hall.
So it sounds okay. Uh, just as a creative decision, I wouldn't say don't use this, uh, but it's it's not giving me what I want in terms of the texture and the kind of delay decay time. It's giving me, but it's not as intense as what I had it before. Modulation sounds nice though. Just get that back. So yeah, by all means, we can use this indefinitely. Uh, that's just one preset like. Um, large plate, let's try this. Um, it's You've got to use things in different creative ways. Yeah, so a lot to be done to that one. That kind of sinks off pretty quick. Uh, let's just put it on bright again. And that is the Rev Plate 140 by Archeria, and grab it for free whilst it's free still at the time of this video. Uh, sorry if you've already missed out on that. Uh, great for adding texture to leads and pads indefinitely. Percussion, really like the sound for percussion. I'm going to be using that indefinitely. With a vocal um, breathy noise, that is probably a creative choice I wouldn't make with that reverb. The Tal reverb is more suited to the style that I'm trying to create there. But indefinitely, these are going to be replacing the internal reverbs that I was using on the, uh, the Rapid preset. So... If you enjoyed this video and you found it quite useful, getting a bit of insight into the reverb plate, uh, let me know in the comments down below and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And finally, hit subscribe, three videos per week and a few more over the Christmas period. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.